o'clock. Hi everybody and welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Fee. Now we have another request for Shyla today. So hello again and thank you very much for requesting another story. And it's another good one, of course. It's called Poo in the Zoo. How many of you like talking about poo? It's always been talked about in my house. So thank you very much, Shyla. <laughs> Little Bob McGrew was a keeper at the zoo. Looking after animals was what he loved to do. But it wasn't always fun because Bob was the one who had to push a cart around and shovel up the... What do you think he has to shovel up? Poo! I can see lots of poo on that picture, can you? You have to go pooey. Can you do that? Pooey. <laughs> there was tiger poo, lion poo, prickly porcupine poo. Pooey. Plummeting giraffe poo that landed with a splat. Can you go splat? Ew. Splat. Ew. <laughs> Dollops of new poo, bouncing kangaroo poo, a trail of drippy droppings from a fat wombat. He's running off with poo behind him. Pooey! Flying bits of bat poo. Crikey, whose is that poo? A pongy pat of panda poo steaming in the sand. Pooey! And Monkey always threw his as fast as he could do his, so no one had a clue where his poo might land. Pooey! He's throwing it all over the place. That's disgusting, isn't it? I hope you don't throw your poo anywhere. Bob felt dizzy. He was far too busy with big jobs and little jobs all around the place. Then he slipped on a banana while mucking out iguana and it ran off with a very greedy grin upon its face. Uh-oh. He slipped over on a banana and the iguana has run off. Oh dear. The lizard caused hysteria inside the cafeteria, climbing on the counters, eating everything he saw. Eleven lime lollies, all the cakes from off the trolleys a pepperoni pizza, and then sandwiches galore. He's making a right mess, isn't he? Shall we do lots of eating as well? So we've got lollies, um, cakes, um, pepperoni pizza, um, and then the sandwiches. Um, I think I'm full up now. Do you think he's full up? Iguana's bulging belly started wobbling like jelly. Oh, he groaned. I don't think I could eat another bite. Then his greedy little eyes saw some sparkly fireflies. So he gobbled them up too because he fancied something light. Can you stick your tongue out like a lizard might and eat the flies? Mm, uh oh what's gonna happen now he's eaten all of that and he's wobbling everywhere like jelly iguana said uh oh and his bum began to glow he pulled a funny face and plopped a poop upon the floor pooey but Iguana's jaw soon dropped when he saw the poop he'd popped and he ran back to his cage where Bob was waiting by the door. So we've got him back in his cage. But what is this poo? Bob turned around and saw something glowing on the floor. A poo that shone so brightly it was lighting up his face. No creature in this zoo has ever done a glowing poo. He whispered to himself, it must have come from out of space. A glowing poo? Have you ever done a glowing poo? 
I hope not. Pooey! Soon everybody knew about the new poo in the zoo and people flocked to see the interplanetary poop. Then a man in a cravat and a sparkly blue hat said, Hello there, Mr Zookeeper. My name is Hector Gloop. So somebody special has come to see him and everybody else has come to see the glowing poo. That's a funny thing to go and see, isn't it? A pile of poo. <laughs> I'm like you, said Hector. I'm another poo collector. I collect exotic poo-poos. I've got quite a big selection. I want the world to see how amazing poo can be. Please climb aboard my poo museum. I'll show you my collection. He's got a poo museum. Poo-wee. I'll bet it's stinky in his special museum. Shall we see what he's got inside? I've got a pile of yeti poo and some that's like spaghetti poo. A smoking pile of dragon poo, they're very hard to find. A mammoth poo in ice, oh and this one's very nice. It's a massive pile of poo poo from a dinosaur's behind. I've got huge poos and tiny poos, crusty poos and shiny poos. Every kind of poo poo you could ever wish to see. Well, I've got some dodo doo doo, but not glowing poo like you do. Oh, I simply got to have it. Will you sell your poo to me? So he's got all these different types of poo. Do you think he'll sell the glowing poo to this special man? So, Bob sold the poop to the happy Hector Gloop and he spent all the money on a robot pooper scooper. Well, it whizzes round the zoo and it picks up all the poo. And for Bob and all his animals, life is super duper. So he's got a special pooper robot. Shall we be a robot picking up poo? I am a robot. I am picking up poo. Ooh, poop. Ooh, poop. Ooh, poop. Ooh, poop. <laughs> Good robots. <laughs> and it cleans it all up so he can have a relax. That's good, isn't it? I think if I was a zookeeper, I'd get a robot that could pick up the poo for me. <laughs> so, that was Poo in the Zoo. And I hope you enjoyed hearing the word poo, 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 poo. Lots and lots and lots of times. And it gives you an excuse to say it too. Say it. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shyla. I've loved reading that for you. Um, and I will see you again soon. Bye.